I purchased five filaments from Arioni, and other than one filament, they're pretty good. I've got some color matching to share in addition to some thoughts here on 3D PC. We'll start with the non-silk white. Immediately, this is a very clean white. It's the sort of white you would expect when unboxing medical lab equipment. It's cleaner than clean, somehow. It prints well enough. I was able to use this material to print 150 of something for a client in a row without a single jam or ruined print. As for color matching, it's white. It doesn't lean one way or another on color temperature, it's just satin white. At 0.7 millimeters thick, these single walled prints do show some light bleed coming through, but to be fair, I am shining studio lights directly at it. It's not what I would consider transparent. Certainly, if you print a couple 4 millimeter walls, it's solid as can be. The hex vase does a good job of capturing what my eyes are seeing. Comparing this Arioni white PLA to one year old inland white PLA, the inland does have greater contrast between the shadows and highlights, and it's also more of a matte finish. You can see the difference on the right edges of the objects as they rotate around to the back, with the green blinking LEDs on my IBM mainframe being a good indication of the difference in glossiness between these two materials. So if you want crisp lighting and a matte finish, go inland. But if you want some degree of gloss, go Arioni. The Arioni looks a lot nicer on a finished object, especially if it has curves, with the surgical clean coloring being hard to describe in any other way. Now I'm showing you Arioni's silk white and non-silk white together. See the gloss difference? Color-wise, they're really not that different, but it's like a decent layer of clear coat has been applied to the silk white. Comparing Arioni's silk white against Mika 3D's silk white, the Mika 3D retains significantly more definition. However, the Mika 3D filament is far less forgiving than the Arioni, with printer ringing showing up here where it's absent from the Arioni. The Mika 3D is also much glossier. I would say the Mika 3D reflects a lot more like glass, and the Arioni more like acrylic. Good acrylic, but still not as crystal clear as Mika's reflections. If you want to wow someone with the material, go with Mika. But if you don't want the material choice to distract from the shape or the function of the 3D model, go with Arioni. Next up, we're going to take a look here at Silk Silver. Not the faintest hint of any transparency. Totally solid, even in a single 0.6mm wall. The edges of the hex vase are very shiny, and the curves of the Creality Christmas ornament are notably silky smooth. Adding 3D Solutex Silver Metallic, which is not a silk material, we can see that it is nowhere near as glossy, and it's actually a bit closer to resembling unpolished metal. The Mika 3D Silk Silver, which doesn't have anything on top of it, is a bit lighter than the Arioni, and it shows more ringing from the printer, and this time the Mika doesn't stand out as having better lighting contrast compared to Arioni. They're on equal ground in this respect. The Silk Silver battle is especially good for seeing difference in cleanliness of the print, where we don't have the color of the material to distract from the quality of the print. The Arioni print details are ever so slightly softer than Mika 3D, but in the case of silver, you'll definitely want that as the defects in any print would be much easier to spot on skin tones and grayscales. Going for gold, we have yet another silky metallic sheen, and this time there appears to be some hints of transparency with a single 0.6mm wall. The hex vase is 1.2mm thick and doesn't show any indication of transparency like the other two objects. The curves of the Creality vase are still what I would call smooth, although they do appear to be a bit more angular than we saw on the silk silver. Ringing is barely noticeable in this material though, still not nearly as bad as the Mika 3D samples. Adding in some silk gold from Mika 3D and eNotepad, we can see that the eNotepad looks as if a thin layer of clear coat were applied over the gold, and the Mika 3D really nails the metallic look with much deeper shadows than eNotepad. 
comparing Mika 3D and Irioni, the shadows aren't quite as deep in the Irioni, and the finish is less mirror-like, but the surfaces are cleaner and there's less ringing. Since we have finally found a material worth color comparing, I would say that it's pretty close to RAL 1004. It's not a perfect match, but it is closer than RAL 1017. As for the last material, I am sad to report this is a material I cannot put my stamp of approval on. This parts tray, of which I have printed hundreds of times, simply will not print in Galaxy Red. It's holier than the Pope. On walls with a tighter diameter and greater support from neighboring walls plus infill, you don't really see these huge gaps in the wall where layers just peel apart from each other, but the layers do still separate easily. So while your 1 inch D&D figure might print without holes, small parts like limbs, swords, bows, or necks will snap themselves off if you just look in their direction too hard. I'm really sad that this filament did not adhere better. It's beyond gorgeous. The way light can hit it, so that you get RAL 3003, 3004, and 3005 on the same plane, is absolutely an accomplishment. The color has deep shadows and a nice metallic flake all throughout. Printing on glass looks pretty too. One thing I did notice is that the surface of the print is rough, almost as if you had enabled fuzzy skin in Cura. It's not a moisture issue, this was printed within minutes of breaking the vacuum seal. It's not a speed issue, I went down to 15 millimeters a second and even cranking up the temperature to 235 C. I was emotionally prepared for this filament to make it into my top three favorite colors, and I was blindsided with a material that just won't adhere to itself. The zero filaments from the last filament review had particles that were much bigger than these, and there were no adhesion issues. Regardless, I cannot recommend Galaxy Red for anything structural. It sticks great to painter's tape, bed, or glass, but it doesn't seem to stick to itself like it should. I did experience one minor clog in a 0.6mm nozzle, and it wasn't even a quarter of the way through the roll. If you're watching this, Arioni, and you fix the issue, please reach out to me. I would love for this filament to be in my top three favorites. As usual, links to all of these filaments are in the video description, and I do earn a commission from Amazon with these links, not the manufacturers, and at no extra cost to you. If you have some interesting colors you want me to check out, drop a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video, after you download some stuff to print off my website at 3dpc.xyz.